So here we have the drafting tabletop. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna strip all the hardware off it, and then we're gonna look at refinishing all the hardware. And I suspect that what I'm gonna end up doing is I will more than likely uh, powder coat uh, all of the steel hardware, uh, probably a, uh, a matte black or gloss black, I don't know, I haven't picked yet. And then we'll do the same thing for the fixturing. Uh, we'll powder coat the fixtures in a aluminum that I have. And I don't know, I might end up have actually just painting these with a uh, regular paint, like an aluminum paint. And the reason is that I don't think I'll be able to powder coat these in my setup. My oven is just a regular kitchen oven and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get this in. We'll find out when we get it off. So we're sitting here with the table and you can see I've done a small patch here where I've removed I don't know I think it's a spray-on adhesive of some sort um, that was used to hold the original top down um, I've gone ahead and removed that so I'm gonna use acetone uh, alcohol wasn't cutting it I'm gonna use acetone to remove that from the entire surface and then I will go ahead and uh, sand it flat and then we will go ahead and uh, stain it and uh, then we will put urethane on there and that will seal up the entire surface and keep things nice and stable, I think. Um, it does have a slight amount of curvature to it, but uh, the frank reality is that I'm not using it as a drafting table or I'm not, and I'm not using a parallel rule on it. I'm using it to, you know, mostly uh, do painting and arts and craft stuff with the kids. So the fact that it's slightly warped isn't an issue in my opinion, and that may actually straighten out once I uh, do a, a round of sanding on the top surface. Uh, might get that a little bit straighter. Might make it worse too. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm not going to cry about that. Overall, I'm, uh, I'm pretty darn happy. And then uh, once the tabletop's refinished, we'll go ahead and uh, refinish all the metal fixturing. Then we'll be able to finish installing this, and I have a brand new sheet of vinyl to fit to the surface. Uh, and make this basically 100%. everything sanded down and stained I'm not a hundred percent sure what on earth they had put on the top surface I had an absolutely miserable time with that it was some kind of like glue or contact cement or something and it just it was awful I'm not gonna lie that stuff is still on there but at this point uh, I was sick of uh, throwing sanding pads at it trying to get it off uh, the acetone took the majority of it off. Unfortunately, it was still heavily in the surface of the wood um, And yeah, <clears throat> did the best I could it's gone now uh, What's gonna happen here is there's actually a front bar that goes on the, the drafting table here uh, It's a pressure bar for your hips when you're standing and, and working at the table 
Uh, so that's over there leading by the tractor. We'll get that sanded and finished up. There's one more bar on the back that needs to be sanded along with that stained. I can urethane the whole thing and then all the woodwork is done. Um, I also made the realization that part of the reason why the table itself is, is not perfectly straight but it was straight before I pulled the steel off is because the steel is giving it a huge amount of stre uh, strength and rigidity along the sides. The table is actually quite a bit flexy uh, without those steel rails. So as soon as we pop those back on there everything should be good to go. Um, like I said at the start I have a brand new vinyl top to go on this so the fact that uh, this part doesn't look the greatest will never matter. <laughs>
Well, here it is in all of its finalized glory. Everything is uh, all set up and usable. We've got all of the stuff we use on a regular basis sitting in the drawers. You absolutely love the pencil drawer on top for storing brushes. Everything that we regularly use is there. We've got decals and papers in here for application. Handy. We've got longer term projects in here. There's a uh, Bane Blade tank for the Astra Militarum that my son is uh, magnetizing with me. As well as a bunch of other stuff. All of our lights are set up. Right ready to go. Whenever we want to get to painting. Right now my son and daughter are staging some battles over on this table. Because they love to do that. <laughs> We've got all the paints along the back row, across the board here. So a whole bunch of uh, rust, streaking, and weathering effects, and then our vast selection of paints that the kids pick. Each time we go, I usually let them pick a color. Julie's especially good. She picks the nice bright colors. Really nice to have that available. But that has completely changed this room. Uh, getting this drafting table installed has has been something I've been very very happy about. Uh, the restoration really went extremely well. It looks great. Uh, we found a complimentary table to add in there because uh, there was only room for two children at this table or me and a, one of my children. So we added a, a second table that was a, an offer up score for 50 bucks uh, to our repertoire and now we can all sit along here as a row and it just so happens that the countertop height chairs that we have for the uh, the counter slash kind of you know breakfast uh, spot in the kitchen uh, can do double duty so when we want to paint we grab a couple of chairs and away we go got a an active project here nice little uh, forge fiend slash mauler fiend that we're painting up with uh, with my middle son uh, that was his Christmas present and so this is just an absolutely great place to sit there and work couldn't be happier with the end result thanks for following along